All right, Jordan, big game. Um, what went into the performance tonight? Um, you know, I think that as a team and my team helping me today, making that extra pass, you know, just executing our game plan really well um, offensively. And I think, I believe defensively, we did well on both sides. So just executing those made the game a lot easier today. Mm -hmm. So then you have a uh, new career high in points and three, go uh, three point field goal percentage. How does that feel coming uh, this late in the season? Um, you know, it feels good, especially after our last game and knowing that, you know, we could have performed better and give credit to Central. They're a great team. But, you know, we just didn't do our best. And so whenever we can bounce back like this and, you know, it just it just means a lot for us. What were you seeing out there today from the defense? Was it just one of those, you're, you know, you're just in a real rhythm and, you know, everything you, you put up is going in? Or, or was it something their defense was uh, – that you saw that you could take advantage of? There. Well, a lot of our um, game plan execution went into that. So just driving, kicking, making an extra pass, going over what we, you know, practice. We had two great practices leading up to this. And so that was the same thing that was happening in practice. So being able to convert it over to the game was just, you know, felt like another practice, I guess. So what does this win mean going into your next game uh, at Eastern? Um, you know, this is a good, great momentum game for us, um, especially because Eastern beat us, you know, a while back. So we still have that chip and, you know, going into that, we're not going to take it lightly. And especially coming off of our last game against Central, you know, that gave us a little fire so we can keep this fire under us and keep rolling. So you guys were a little sloppy here in the first three mm -hmm. quarters. What did Coach say going into that last quarter? You know, he just said, um, going back to winning these five-minute segments, you know, we went over that earlier on in our games. Um, our past game. So winning those five minute segments with, you know, as low turnovers as we could was really key to that. And so when we took care of the ball, we were great. You guys said? Um, yeah, what were you guys kind of able to do to limit, um, you know, Courtney Woods there? She was uh, obviously comes in averaging 18 points a game. She's two for 12 today. Mm -hmm. um, just talk about your guys' defensive effort and to be able to slow, being able to slow her down. Um, yeah, Courtney Woods, she's a great player. Um, just being able to slow her down today was great for our defense. Um, really on that, we just were locked in and making sure that we were getting through screens. You know, she's a great reader of screens, so just making sure that we were getting through those and um, not letting her take advantage of those was key for us. All right, Coach, big one tonight. Yeah, any win at the end of February is a big one, and uh, even more so when it's at home because you want to you protect your house. and. Uh, I thought our kids were really gritty, especially in the second half. It, was kind of, it really was a tale of two pretty different halves in terms of how seemingly the offense was flowing for both teams in the first 20 minutes and then uh, kind of really got the clamps kind of came out and it was hard to get buckets for both teams down the stretch. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, quite a few turnovers tonight. Yeah. You, know, you, you saw those? <laughs> You know, why it, it was uncharacteristic of us because, uh, you know, when the other team forces them, you, you kind of deal with that and you're okay with that. But I felt like the film will tell us for sure. I felt like too many of them were unforced. And those are the ones that, you know, you just you can't do in February and March. You know, you have to have to be able to take care of those those that you can control. And uh, this team will. This team will bounce back from that. Mm -hmm. So then um, that fourth quarter was huge for you guys. What went into that fourth quarter? Well, we had it kind of. I don't know if you remember how late it was in the third quarter where they had the possession where they got every rebound for about five tries and then we ended up following them at the end of the situation on a short shot. So um, we, we kind of challenged our team. It's like we can't, that's, that's got to be us, right? That's got to be the way we're playing right now uh, down the stretch. And I thought they really did. Uh, to hold Northern Illinois to four points in a quarter is pretty absurd. Uh, some of that may have been them, but I, I think a lot of it had to do with us as well. So then you really grinded out that win yeah. at the end. What does this style of win mean moving forward for the team? That's good because, you know, this is really what the conference tournament is going to probably look like on a daily basis down the stretch. Both teams know each other very well and uh, kind of know what each other is going to do. So it's going to turn into some ugly points. Uh, and said to our team, that was a, a beautiful, ugly kind of win. And that's what you that's what you need to do this time of year. So then it seemed like the offense kind of went through Jordan Walker tonight. Was that just something that happened because she got hot, or was that kind of the game plan? No, she she got hot, and um, she made that first shot, which is when a scorer makes her first shot like she does. Um, I think that kind of lit her fire. And <clears throat> I think it – I don't know for sure, but I would guess it was about this same week two years ago when Jordan Walker had a very similar game. Uh, she went for 32 points, and it, she's had a long road to get back to this point to where – um, she's been able to have that kind of a game again, 
but she's she's a special player. She's got a lot of she brings a lot of moxie to the table. She's got a lot of skill. Uh, this this could be exactly what that kid needed to. It's not like she hasn't been scoring, but it was a kind of a breakout game like she had two years ago, just before she got injured, uh, where she had 32 points. Well, there, there wasn't a, a ton of bench production today, but Sydney Schaefer came in and hit you know a couple of threes in, in timely situations, and, <laughs> and she's been able to do that in the last uh, few games. She, before. Just, she, if you can just talk about her um, her contributions that she's been able to make. It, it was big, and she took one that I might have ran out on the court and tackled her myself if she hadn't made it down in the corner at the end of that because it was too early for this the shot clock and where we were at but she made it and that's that's how she plays she's fearless she can be reckless at times but she's always trying to make a play and you can deal with that as a coach so um yeah she's she's done that a couple times for us throughout the year and uh, we're gonna need some of those how much of a point of emphasis is it with your team to uh you guys are in line to maybe uh you know, get a top four seed in the MAC tournament. Has it has that been a conversation of you know a point of emphasis at all to, to get that top four seed? And make sure you get oh, that gosh. high going in. Yeah, that's that's uh, everybody's prize, right? Everybody wants that that line, so you don't have to play that uh, play-in game. But um, so we have talked about it, and we try and talk about it in context of look, this this is where we are, but. It, it could go the other way too. Like we're we're on a line to get a seed, but we could end up in a first round road game if we're not careful and if we don't take every possession uh, serious. Like every possession matters because in this conference, every possession matters. And what's it going to take to to go on the road and beat a team like Eastern Michigan and you know where uh, you're fighting with them for for that seed? Yeah, it's it's going to be a you know timely matchup, I guess, for the in in state rivals, and they beat us on our court here the first time around in a. A game that we played pretty well for most of the game, and uh, they they kind of took it away from us in the fourth quarter. So we got to have to go back and figure out where we completely broke down at in that situation. And it could be, you know, Eastern was just that much better than us in that setting, and that can happen too. But uh, yeah, it's um, it's going to be a big game. We get to enjoy it tomorrow first, and then we'll we'll start tackling Eastern Michigan for Wednesday. But um, should be a dandy.